This is just one example of how governments enable big food and big pharma to damage human health and the environment. There is a group of insecticides that are used for crop protection that are called neonicotinoids, or neonics for short. They are banned in the UK, supposedly. This is because they seriously damage bees and other pollinators, which are, of course, essential for the survival of every plant and animal on the planet. There is currently a serious ongoing decline in insect and pollinator populations due to human activity. Neonics readily leave their target crop and get dispersed into the wider environment, impacting multiple ecosystems. When they were rolled out in the 1990s, it was on the assumption that they only poisoned the nerves of insects and not mammals. But it turns out they are actually toxic to humans. Well, we all make mistakes, don't we? In mammals, they can damage the central nervous system and immune system, cause cancer, and they are endocrine disruptors, causing reproductive toxicity. Anyway, at least they are banned in the UK. But actually, no, they are not, because year after year, they keep getting emergency authorization to be used on a certain crop deemed to be at risk of infestation. Which vital crop is worth this level of risk to human health, our ecosystems, and pollinators, including bees? Yes, it is, of course, sugar. You really couldn't make it up, could you? Yes, most sugar in the UK is actually produced by processing sugar beets grown here in Britain, courtesy of the company British Sugar. Makes you proud to be British. We all love a sweet treat. Probably is worth the risk of those insecticides, actually. I mean, it's not like bees can naturally produce a sweet golden substance that you can eat, is it? British Sugar recently got £660,000 from the UK government to do research on sugar beet gene editing. I mean, why should British Sugar have to pay when the taxpayer can? By the way, the company behind Neonix is Bayer. Bayer make agricultural chemicals and also own Monsanto, the company that makes Roundup, which is the most used herbicide in the world. Monsanto, to date, has paid out over $11 billion in lawsuits related to Roundup causing cancer. Bayer, owner of Monsanto and producer of Neonix used in UK sugar production, also just happens to be one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. I don't think there's anything concerning about any of that. Everyone's health will benefit from avoiding table sugar, as well as any other processed sweetener, be it artificial ones or those labelled as natural. So if you want to avoid chronic disease and vote against the use of toxic endocrine disrupting insecticides, then don't buy anything that has sugar as an ingredient, especially if it's not organic. Instead, use nature's sweeteners, fruit and honey, Make sure your fruit is organic, unless you don't mind eating other types of insecticides and fungicides, which you'll get with non-organic fruit. And definitely don't buy honey from a supermarket. Get unprocessed local honey from a local beekeeper. If you want more information on these topics, my book on nutrition and my video on endocrine disruptors are linked in the description, along with some other interesting sources. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you next time.